If you are wondering why you do not have enough friends at work or you want people to like you more, then stay tuned because in today's training on interpersonal skills in the workplace to stand out in 2020, I am going to discuss a few things that you may be doing wrong unknowingly that could be putting people off. Also, I am going to suggest a few interpersonal skills tips that you can implement right away to change your situation drastically. Hi, this is Madhurima from The Fairy Tale Life, the best place for personal development. If you want more such videos, then subscribe and hit that notification bell to be informed whenever I post my new videos. Give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends if you think they will benefit from this training. And let's jump in right away. Greet your co-workers daily with a bright smile in the beginning of the day. This is an excellent way to start your day on a positive note. The best way to greet someone would be to take their names like Good morning Aditi. Hi Milan. Hey Akshay, what's up? Instead of just saying hello everybody. Leave in your comments below and let me know how you greet your co-workers. Also here is a quick reminder to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. Do follow me on my Instagram handle that is appearing on your screen right now. If it is a room or a closed space where 4 to 5 people sit, then make sure that when you enter, you even greet that person who doesn't talk to you much. Try and mingle with everybody in your team. It shouldn't be like you're trying to form your own group while ignoring the others who are right there. Disagree gracefully. Let's say you are in a discussion whether it is official or unofficial and somebody else has a different opinion. Then don't jump to oppose that right away. Listen to them and understand. Ask them questions to see why they think that way. Chances are that you may get enlightened with something that you would not have considered till then. Not everybody has to have the same opinion as you do and you still can be friends. I have seen people attacking each other just because they don't have the same opinion which is a big no-no when it comes to interpersonal communication skills. Now if you want more tips on softer side of skills then watch this video on soft skills where I dig a little deeper on collaboration with your team members. The third interpersonal communication tip is in continuation with the second one which is not to make fun of others. You may feel that it is a light-hearted conversation where everything is allowed, but you can never be sure about what the other person feels about this. Don't do anything to humiliate, bully, be sarcastic, make fun of or taunt other people. Even if people make mistakes, help them save their face by talking to them separately, not in public. I once had a colleague who would make fun of my accessories, my earrings, my bag, my jewellery, my way of talking, everything. And guess what? He would do the same thing with my other colleagues as well. Until somebody reported him to the HR because he had got really irritating. The next on how to improve interpersonal skills is to have good manners. Say a please, a thank you, a sorry, wherever there is an opportunity. Say excuse me while you're passing through a narrow corridor and wait for people to give you way instead of dashing against them. I have seen people all the time lack in such a basic etiquette. Another set of basic etiquette that people fail to follow is table manners. I have seen disgusting practice where people offer their leftover by saying, please have it, I don't feel like eating it anymore or offering people food when they have already mixed it up and have started eating. Ew. If you really want to offer food to people, then offer it before you have started eating. It can be really disgusting for others otherwise. Now at times, let's say you have already started eating and somebody comes up, say I'm really sorry, I don't prefer offering food once I have started eating. The fifth interpersonal tip would be to appreciate others and be happy with them for their achievements. Congratulate them when they get an award. If a manager appreciates a colleague in front of everybody, you also pitch in and say, well done Deepti and smile at them. If they are looking nice or wearing something good, then be generous to give them a compliment. If you spot them doing something good, then praise them. Hey, I really liked your presentation that day. You're so good with Excel. 
I really like the way you organize things. So far today, you have learned five ways to improve your interpersonal skills. Now, what about being assertive at work, leadership skills or soft skills? I will leave these trainings on a playlist over here which you must watch next. Click on my picture here to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends if you think this would benefit them. I wish you all the best for your career and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.